Yeah, I'll take care of workflow. So what are workflows and why do we use workflow? What is the different questions and answers on the workflow? dynamic participant step and um, uh, and uh, what is workflow model they last so workflow model is the basic workflow temp the one is uh, how do you get session in workflow we can we will have out of uh, see workflow process step you can understand here what is process step and participant so this is the location where after syncing it will be there so i think i have So welcome back, uh, guys. Um, just uh, thanks for watching uh, uh, ITV one more time. So as I um, promised in my previous interview questions and answers videos, as part of the comments which are provided by the audience, I'll be taking care of the uh, different topics which we would like to cover as part of uh, AEM uh, whole um, uh, interview questions and answers. So this is actually targeting five years, six years, like zero to six years experienced guys on AEM how. Uh, what kind of questions they can expect when they go to interviews, all of that. So as I uh, mentioned in previous video, this video, I'll take care of workflows. So what are workflows and why do we use workflow? What is the different questions and answers on the workflows? So basically what um, um, interviewers ask in about workflow is like, uh, uh, what is your workflow? So right, we can say that workflow is a sequence of steps, basically which will have participant step, process step, and a dynamic participant step, multiple other steps, which are grouped together to execute any sequence of actions. And then they'll ask what is participant step and what is process step. So participant step is a user step where user will take action and um, he will get either email or something. Then we will actually check the participant step. And then what is process step? Process step is a programmatic step. Basically, uh, any custom program which will execute as part of uh, the workflow, which will take care of the auto execution is called uh, process step so uh, and we will have other steps uh, like um, uh, comment um, dynamic participant step and um, uh, also uh, steps related to dialogue participant step multiple other steps are there they'll ask uh, so what is a dynamic participant step in normal process step uh, dynamic in normal participant step what we will mention is basically we will mention uh, um, in the dialogue, the user group who will be fetching the, uh, I would say, email triggers or notifications as part of the workflow. But in case of dynamic participant step, the participant will not be authored directly through program. The participant will be dynamically chosen by the workflow. So we will have some scripts like ECMA scripts or we can use a custom Java class which will get a custom user details and that user will get the notification as part of the dynamic participant step. And then uh, what is workflow model they last? So workflow model is the basic workflow template which will be used to create the workflow send out. So if you actually can go to the uh, AEM um, uh, workflows, you can see how the models will be there, how the what kind of steps are called participant step, what kind of steps are called process steps and which ones we can actually use it uh, uh, for creating the workflow and then how do we can actually use them for uh, um, uh, running any payload. So if you go to uh, tools, uh, workflow, uh, you can actually have uh, models. Uh, if you select any of the model, out of the box, uh, AEM has provided us a lot of workflow models which are having each of uh, different functional aspects to execute the um, functionalities as part of the business requirements. And uh, one of the frequent workflow model which they'll ask is uh, when you start uploading an asset, what kind of uh, workflow is gets triggered? That is update asset workflow. That update asset workflow will trigger and create renditions for the asset. And how many renditions will be created? Five renditions will be created, web, tablet, mobile, desktop, and the original file. And then they'll ask, uh, uh, how do you create a process step? So we can create a process step by implementing the workflow process interface, overriding the execute method and providing workflow item, workflow session, and metadata map as input parameters. So I can showcase the code, uh, uh, how the process step can be created uh, using a workflow uh, process, and then how we can select that process step uh, as part of uh, workflow. So what uh, if you see update asset workflow, uh, it will be there. Uh, Screen update asset, update. Yeah, damn update asset offloading. 
yeah this one dam update asset is the workflow which gets triggered whenever you upload it and you select the workflow model and you click on the edit you can actually see the workflow model uh, entire steps which are actually part of the workflow model you can see that it will have multiple steps like uh, um image cropping step uh, and sending email step uh, multiple other steps will be there i'll showcase how you can drag and drop the steps also uh, as part of the workflow model and one of the questions they'll ask is uh, where do you store these uh, workflow um, uh, models so workflow models normally stores under conf wcm settings workflow model so if you can go to any of the crxd and uh, uh, go to conf folder there you will see conf wcm settings workflow models as one of the location where uh, uh, workflow models get stored and they'll ask why do you sync your workflow so workflow model is just kind of a template when you create a workflow using that template it is called workflow instance where get that gets stored where workflow so when you sync it the workflow model gets an object instance of the workflow and it will be synced at where workflow and people will be executing the workflow so that's where they can ask another question and um, about workflow another thing which they can ask is uh, what is payload so payload is the path which you are selecting for executing a workflow is called payload so another one is uh, how do you get session in workflow we can we will have out of the box workflow session which is available uh, which we can use for um, uh, getting any of the data related to the workflow and normal jcr session is the repository session so they'll ask what is the difference between workflow session and jcr session workflow session will take care of work item and its uh, scope only and jcr session takes care of the entire whole repository and then they'll ask how do you get a user in the workflow we can use uh, um, workflow session dot get user and we can get the user id and they also ask you questions related to uh, data related to um uh, how do you uh, pass data from one step to another step so metadata map is the path uh, where you can uh, move uh, data from one step to another step so you can see conf okay if you go to global uh, settings uh, see workflow and you will have models so these are the models where you can see the uh, any model if it is created it will be under this location and then uh, they'll ask how, how many ways you can start your workflow you can start the workflow by using workflow launcher and uh, we can use uh, workflow manager api and call start workflow method in the program itself or we can select the payload and click on the start workflow directly on the See, you can have a start workflow, right? select and start workflow. You can directly manually work, uh, start the workflow also. So as you have showed, uh, this is the workflow model. Okay, These are all the steps. If you say what is participant step, what is process step, you can understand here what is process step and pro participant step. Okay, These are all process steps. You can see the naming convention itself is telling uh, uh, process uh, is involved. So if you select any of the step, uh, if you go to edit, uh, then you can actually drag and drop components you click on it you can actually drag and drop uh, participant steps uh, and uh, also you can update the uh, yeah so if you see any of the step and click on the dialog you can see uh, which process uh, being executed by this uh, process step okay and uh, in the dialog there is an option to select the process steps which you have actually created in your code base like an eclipse uh, like this uh, you'll be creating a custom workflow process step, right? When you deploy it, that bundle, that description will come here as the process uh, selector for the workflow so that you can select it and then that will come there as uh, implementation related to the um, custom workflow. So that's about the process step. Uh, as I mentioned, once the models are actually synced, uh, they'll go to where workflow so that the instance is available. So if you go to where, you can see a workflow con uh, location where they, they will be yeah this where workflow the running workflows will be there see the models where workflow models and instances so this is the location where after syncing it will be there so i think i have covered almost like uh, every question related to workflow and uh, if any of you are actually looking for any more uh, uh, have faced any more questions and answers please feel free to drop a message on the comments i'll definitely cover it up in my next session so it's not like I know every question and answer, but if anyone can come up with any question and answers, I try to find the solution because of my experience, which I have worked all the years. So please feel free and use this opportunity and then get the 
uh, knowledge shared everyone um, thanks for everyone uh, for your encouragement uh, watching and then sharing liking subscribing i hope uh, we make more and more strides into a uh, much uh, different level of audience and then uh, get the content uh, shared uh, uh, across the platforms thanks everyone